Hey, what is up, ladies and gentlemen, YouTube, it is IEG Badass, bringing you the second part to my genocide speedrunning tutorial. Now, in this segment, we are going to be focusing on the Snowden region of Undertale. We'll be pointing out and highlighting healing items that you should pick up, and some additional tips and tricks along the way. Now, for right here, right here in the box, you're going to want to grab the tough glove and equip it right away and grind out your first enemy kill right now. This is going to be Snowdrake. He is a unique enemy, so he must be killed as a part of your genocide route. Now, unlike the other unique enemies, I actually do count this for my total count for Snowden. My total count for Snowden is 16. Um, some guides that you might read online or other speedrunners might have a count of 18, including like Dagami Dagarisa, etc. I don't count Dagami Dagarisa, I don't count Dago, I don't count the talking rock in ruins, you know what I mean? So, that is enemy kill number one for my total of 16. Your second is going to be right here, which is going to be an ice cap. He will be your second kill. And in the next area that we go into is actually where we get our three snow pieces after Dago. Um, with the snow pieces, they heal for 45 HP a piece. You get three of them from the snowman north of the little ice path that you would usually see sands during your neutral or true pacifist uh, playthrough of the game. I'll tell you exactly when you need to move up. Yeah, I'll, I'll show you in the video, actually, more so than anything. Right here, you go north, and this is where you get your three snow pieces. One of the best healing items in the game. Definitely recommend grabbing all three of these. This is something you'll be using for Undyne. Now, I'm going to walk against the wall right here to get our lesser dog encounter, which is for me is monster kill number three. Three. You do have to kill the lesser dog. He is a unique enemy, but he is number three in my count. And typically when you walk across this area, if you don't grab the snow pieces, you'll encounter the lesser dog in that area. So that's why I, I grinded out the encounter of the lesser dog there for monster kill number three. This is just, you know, you're going through the puzzle dialogue. In this area here, you have no monster encounter. So just continue on heading towards the lower right hand corner. Run into Papyrus and Sands again. <laughs> love, I love their dialogue. It's unfortunate that if you want to speedrun the game, you're going to like skip through the dialogue like a madman. Now, past this save point in this area here on your way to Dagami and Dagarisa, you don't have to hit the switch. Just go straight here, but on this bridge, you want to grind out your next monster encounter because you're already taking steps towards that encounter anyways. Now, you'll either get a double, which will be the Ice Cap and Jerry, or you can get a triple, which is more fortunate for you, being Ice Cap, Jerry, and Childrake. Snowdrake is replaced with Childrake, which is just a generic monster encounter, whereas Snowdrake was a unique monster encounter. If you do not kill the first monster that you encounter, Snowdrake, at the beginning of Snowden, you will actually fail the genocide route. So be sure to kill him. And keep in count whether you use dice, if you use... I, am, I type it in on my laptop, you can use your phone. My count right now will be 5, and you skip the Jerry because Jerry's take approximately 30 to 32 seconds to kill. Yes, they count towards my count of 16, but they take way too long to kill them, you just run away. Now, while fighting Dagami and Dagarisa, be sure to kill Dagarisa first before you kill Dagami, because otherwise Dagarisa goes all Super Saiyan crazy on your booty if you kill her hubby first. So kill her, takes about three attacks, then one middle attack on Dagami. It'll be a four-phase Dagami and Dagarisa. As you see, I messed up my attacks and it attacked Dagami instead of Dagarisa. That's why I let it miss and I didn't even bother swinging at him. And some speeder runners will count this towards their kill count. I don't, so we're still at five kills as of right now. this is These are the last things that we kill on our way to Snowden. And outside of Snowden is where we'll grind out the remaining 11 monster encounters. Now, I want to note right now that depending on your total number of encounters, you may or may not kill a Jerry. And the reason for it is if you if you're let's say you're at 14 kills and you're outside Snowden getting your step counter up for that encounter and you encounter a triple 
a ice cap, Jerry, Snowdrake, then you just kill the ice cap, you kill the the ice the um the chill drake and you're done. Your count is done, you go into Snowden, you continue on with your genocide route. But if you're at a kill count of fourteen and you run into an ice cap and a Jerry, just kill the Jerry. Because if you just kill the ice cap and have only one monster encounter remaining, and you try to get the step counter up, you're looking at a 30 to 45 second wait before you get another monster encounter. So it's faster to just simply kill the Jerry if your RNG just so happens to line up. Um, greater dog right here, by the way, if he is a sleeping dog, which it's not a sleeping dog, see the spear, just avoid the spears. If you go into the spear attack, it does nothing. But if you go into the sleeping dog attack with Greater Doggy, it interrupts the attack phase and you go through it quicker. So if you get a sleeping dog, go into it. If you don't, it's unfortunate. It is what it is. This is the bridge right before Snowden. This is your last dialogue encounter with Papyrus and Sands for this area before you finally fight Papyrus in Snowden. And this zone here is also where we'll be grinding out the remaining 11 enemies for my kill count. So we got 5 from earlier, we got 11 left, we don't count Greater Dogi, we don't count Dagami, we don't count Dagarisa, we don't count Dago. If you counted those 4 enemies on top of everything else, then your count would be 20. I don't count them. My count is 16. I keep it simple because it's like they're unique enemies that you run to, into and you gotta kill, so it's like, eh, whatever. So I'm gonna fast forward right here, we're gonna go through all of our encounters. You just kill the ice cap, Kill the Childrake, and then spare the Jerry. And sparing the Jerry actually does not interrupt your genocide route. You could literally spare, believe it or not, a thousand monsters in a row, and you'll have no effect on your genocide route whatsoever, aside from taking freaking forever to get your monster count up. Um, so whether you spare Jerry, flee from Jerry, doesn't matter. Just personally, the menuing is faster to flee Jerry after you get the monster kills, after you kill your Childrake, after you kill your Ice Cap. So you just menu over and you like button mash the flea and it's like BAM! You know, the, the spare and you're, you're you're done for it. Works really well. Um, and you just grind in this corner. You sit in the corner, hold up and down on your keyboard, you know, for the multi-input, and it gets your step counter up. Now, you're gonna see right here, I killed the Jerry because Jerry gets to be lucky monster kill number 16. And if you lose count, the music in Snowden changes. And I'm gonna have you guys go in the shop here to steal the money from the till. You get over 750 gold, which is usable towards purchasing extra healing items later on in the MTT resort. And don't forget to use this under ground snow tunnel thing that I just use. Otherwise, you end up wasting a whole lot of time walking across Snowden just to get to Papyrus. The final monster kill, the boss kill for this region. And with this, I want to thank you guys for watching part two of my genocide tutorial on speedrunning. I hope you got those snow pieces. I hope you grabbed the muns from the shop. I hope, most certainly hope you got the booty pie from Ruins from like my first video and please consider becoming a subscriber. I hope you check out the third part. We will be focusing on Waterfall and I hope to catch you guys next time. Bye! Hey guys, EG Badass here reminding you to smash that subscribe button and also with the annotations on screen and in the channel description you can check out the first part for Genocide for Newbies Part 1 and the secret door open in Snowden. Anyways, take care of yourselves and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!